Hello everyone, uh, this is a lesson on maps and scales. What we are going to do in this lesson, I'm going to look at the paper from November 2018, paper 1. It's question 4. So, question 4.1, it says a park run is a weekly 5 kilometer run. A group of runners drove from Uppington to Springbok to take part in the weekly park run in Springbok. Our next charge C shows the route map from Uppington to Springbok. So here's an extra C. So this is the route they took from Uppington to Springbok. Here's Springbok. You need to read the question, read it again, understand it, look at the map before you go to the question. So let's do the question at 4.1. 4.1.1, it says, give the general direction from Uppington to Springbok. So when you start from Uppington going to Springbok, you need to give the general direction. In a map, they've given us this north. So north is when you're going up. So if you have your north, it means this is your south and you have your east and your west, right? So when they're talking about the general direction, they're talking about um, moving from one place to another. So let's look at the map again. You see they go from Uppington to Springbok. So they are going down. So it means they are going south. When you go down, you go south. But they are not going down straight south like that. They are going down south but in a easterly way. South to the east. So your answer is south, not east. South to the west. That's west. So your answer is southwest. Right, 4.1.2. Write down the name of National Park closer to Kamer Kron. Kamer Kron. So you're gonna go to the map and look for Kamer Kamer Kron. Here's Kamer Kron. So the national map that's closer to the town, this one, Namakwa National Park. So you're gonna write that as 4.1. Let's write that. 4.1.2. That national park, it's national park. It's on your map, so you don't even have to worry about the spellings. The spellings will be right because you'll copy them from your map. Okay, let's look at 4.1.3. 4.1.3, name two towns the runners will pass through on their way to Springbok from following the N4. Here's the national road, the N14, not 4. This is the N14. Now, there are towns that are on the N14. There are some towns that are a little bit far. These round dots are the towns. So, but there are some towns that are on the road. So, from Uppington, you get these towns. A. Moors. Then you drive down. Then you find this town. It's Kakamas. Then you drive down. Then you find that town, Pafada. So, there are actually three towns that are on the road. You can choose any two. You write the two towns that are on this road. And when you are looking at your map, you'll find your answers. Okay, let's write that. Right, I choose to write the two time one place of my time is Kakamas and the other one and I choose the puff. You could write the other one gain morse it's on the road. Okay. 4.1.4. 4.1.4 identify the type of scale used on the map. When you look at this map, you find this scale. What kind of scale is this one? You can call it a ratio map or you can call it a number map. You can use the, the name that you are, you are used to because it's the ratio of 1 is to 3,007,874. So this is the scale that is used. It's not the bar one. So let, let's write 4.1.4. So I'm going to use the number. You can call it the ratio scale or the number scale. Or the numerical scale also all three answers will be correct let's go to the next question right 4.1.5 use the given scale to determine the actual distance to the nearest kilometer between uppington and springbok okay now the scale is telling us one whether you're using centimeters or you're using millimeters one of that will represent the three million something on the map. So one millimeter on the scale will be equals to three million 
7,874 millimeters on land. So you need to measure. You take your ruler, you measure from Springbok to Uppington. So I'm going to use millimeters. When you use millimeters, it becomes more accurate. So with them, it's 130. With the ruler that I'm giving here, and the map that I'm using, it's 130. So 130 millimeters. That's the distance on the map when I'm using my ruler. Let's write that. So my measured distance is 130 millimeters. So I need to convert that to kilometers on land. So I'm going to use the ratio. I'm going to say one centimeter on the map. I'm, I'm not going to write it as a ratio. I'm going to write equals to three million. This is on land. This is on the map. This is on land. So you're going to take the value that you have. This value that I have, is it on land or on the map? This is on the map. So I'm going to take that and write it underneath the map. So it's 130 on the map. So this is millimeters, right? Is equals to, then what is it equal on land? I don't know. Then I use a variable. I'll say x. This is the first part, right? Then after that, you cross multiply. I'm going to multiply the x with the 1. I'm going to get x is equals to 3 million for cross multiply so i will multiply that with one plus two then i get my calculator so the distance on land of 120 millimeters is 391 million 23,620 millimeters on land so the question was that convert that to kilometers Right. When we are converting, you need to know that we have kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters in that order. Kilometers to meters, you don't write the number underneath, you write it in between them. Meter to centimeter, 100. Centimeter to meter, 10. So when you convert that to that, you multiply by 1000. That one to that one, by 100 and centimeter to millimeter by a 10. Now, you need to memorize this. Memorize the kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. And then memorize the 1,110, right? Then you say to yourself, what am I asked? In the question, you would have been asked two things. You are asked to convert one to another. In this question, you are asked to convert millimeters to kilometers. So I'm working with kilometers and millimeters. Then you say to yourself, which one is the bigger one? The bigger one is the one that will be on your left. So kilometer, one kilometer is equals to how many millimeters? You multiply that and that and that because that I'm from there to there. I'm going to move three times. You multiply them. You take your calculator. You multiply them out. Okay, let's do that. So 1,000 multiplied by 100 multiplied, it gives us 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1 million of what? Of millimeters. That's your first part. After that, now you go to your question. You say, what do I have? I have millimeters. You are going to write the millimeters under the millimeter. So my millimeters are this side. So it's three, 391 millimeters. Is equals to this is what I don't know. I write an X. Then the next thing you cross multiply. Cross multiply, you've done it in grade eight. You have been cross multiplying. It doesn't mean when you're doing maths later, you are not doing maths. You have done cross multiply. Cross multiply, you're gonna multiply that with it. You always start with the one with X. So we're gonna have X multiplied by one million is equals to then you multiply kilometers one times that number is gonna be. 390 million, I need to be multiplying by one millimeter. This millimeter is from there and you have kilometer as well. So I'm trying to find X. So you remember the units for this was millimeters. So I'm going to divide because I want to leave X all by itself. I'm going to divide by one million millimeters. Divide by one million millimeters. That will cancel that. I'll be left with X. Plus two, the millimeter will cancel the millimeter 
then you divide it with your calculator so you get 391,002 kilometers now go read the question again this is not correct according to what they asked you in this particular question let's read the question again the question said you must round it off to the nearest kilometer so it means you don't need this this much you you check you don't just throw them away you check if you have to round them off so the the, the zero is is less than um five so it's not gonna run this up so it means your x will be 391 kilometers so it means that distance from Epping, Uppington to Springbok is 391 kilometers as we read it uh, from the map okay just practice this is the end of our lesson mm -hmm.